When Byzantium fell, it marked the end of Licinius's rule and the reunification of the Roman world under one ruler. For nearly four decades, the Roman Empire had been divided, with multiple emperors ruling at different times, each with varying degrees of success. Constantine, who emerged victorious through a combination of administrative skill, diplomacy, and military prowess, left a lasting impact on history. His practical abilities left a deeper mark than many conquerors and legislators of greater genius. Like Augustus and Frederick the Great, Constantine possessed a self-reliant, focused, and unsentimental mind. Though not entirely Roman by blood, Constantine embodied Roman qualities, hard work, determination, and tireless energy. However, he didn't share the Roman sentimental attachment to the city of Rome itself. He was born near the Danube, raised in different parts of the empire, and viewed Italy as just one of his provinces. When Constantine divided his empire among his heirs, he gave Gaul, not Italy, to his eldest and most beloved son. His decision to create a new imperial capital signaled a significant departure from previous emperors who, well at times neglecting Rome, never considered establishing a rival city. Constantine aimed to create a central administrative and commercial hub for the Roman world, strategically positioned and accessible by land and sea. Constantine needed a city that could serve as a stronghold against northern barbarian attacks, oversee the Danube region, and be close enough to the east. Rome, with its remote location, lack of good harbors, and separation from key frontiers, was no longer suitable as a capital. Constantine considered several cities for his new capital, including his birthplace, Nysus, and Nicomedia. However, he chose Byzantium, a city he knew well, having spent months camped outside its walls. Byzantium was strategically located, well fortified, and offered the advantages he sought. Constantine meticulously planned his new capital's layout. He marked its boundaries in a traditional Roman ceremony. Legend has it that he walked westward along the Golden Horn shoreline until guided to stop by an invisible force. This marked the city's limits, encompassing seven hills between the Propontis and the Golden Horn. The heart of the new Constantinople included the Imperial Palace, the Augustaeum, a Grand Forum, the Senate House, the Patriarch's Palace, and the Hippodrome for chariot races. Additionally, the city featured the Church of the Holy Wisdom, Hagia Sophia, and other notable buildings, granaries along the quays, and the Golden Gate. Constantine invited senators, wealthy landowners, bureaucrats, artisans, and merchants to populate his new capital. He granted them privileges to attract immigrants and he continued the Roman tradition of providing free corn to the populace. The city, initially named New Rome, was ultimately known as Constantinople a name that endured through history. The city featured the Church of the Holy Wisdom, Hagia Sophia, and other notable buildings, granaries along the quays, and the Golden Gate. Constantine invited senators, wealthy landowners, bureaucrats, artisans, and merchants to populate his new capital. He granted them privileges to attract immigrants and he continued the Roman tradition of providing free corn to the populace. The city, initially named New Rome, was ultimately known as Constantinople, a name that endured through history.